Hello everyone. Today I will uh, implement an AWS Lambda function and I will use AppStage Redis as a state store. So let's start with uh, creating the database. So when you go console.appstage.com, you can create one free database without entering your credit card. Um, you need to select the region with the same with your AWS Lambda function and uh, especially for production, don't forget to enable TLS to secure the connection. Yes, a few seconds and the database is ready. That's great. And as you see, Upstage shows you the how to connect from different uh, Redis clients. And we will use Upstage Redis. It's, it's another client and it's designed for serverless. It's HTTP based. Uh, so it's uh, best for AWS Lambda and uh, other serverless functions. Okay, so the database is ready and uh, now let's create the project. I will use serverless framework. You can use AWS SAM or others. I'm just familiar with serverless framework. Select HTTP API, give a name. I don't know. It asks too many questions. I don't know. Do you want to deploy now? No. Okay, so go into the folder, project folder. Now, as you see, there are three files. The important one is handler.js, so it's the Lambda function. But before editing the function, let's install the dependency upstage Redis client. Okay. Now we can update the function. Yes, and I'm a very lazy person, so I just want to copy paste the code from upstage documentation. So thankfully there's a quick start for AWS Lambda. Okay. And I need to replace URL and token of course. URL of the token. Because this client uses the REST API, I have copied the REST credentials. So if you are using something like iOREDIS or some other TCP based clients, then you, need, you will need to copy code either from here or from password and endpoint from here. So different credentials for TCP and HTTP. Okay, so very simple. It just creates a Redis client and increments a counter and returns the result as a response. <coughs> Looks cool. So let's save it and deploy it. I don't know why, but this, this part takes more than two minutes. Like it's a few files just uploading to AWS, but Maybe because of service framework or cloud formation, but I'm not happy with that. Like, why? Two minutes, it's too, mu too much. Okay, it's deployed and it's, uh, you can see the endpoint. Let's try it. Yeah, good. So refresh the page counter increments and let's see the data browser counter is 9 counter is 9 counter is 10 counter is 10 so okay it works so yes now we have implemented yeah we have successfully implemented an AWS Lambda which keeps data in uh, upstage Redis so server stack thanks for watching and you can subscribe to channel to watch similar videos.